Hi, this is Amber Blackwell, and I'm going to show you how to use Canva for student creation. Okay, the first thing that you want to be able to do is make sure you are logging in correctly. You can sign up or you can log in to Canva, and it will either use your oricountyschools.net email or your g.oricountyschools.net email. One of those will give you the education um, version of Canva. And that's really important is to make sure that you have that education account and Ori County Schools has that for us. So when you get on there, make sure if it says free under here, you need to change it um, and you can look at the tutorial on the PDF and it will tell you how to get there so that you can have all the premium uh, features for free. All right. Our first thing we want to do is be able to create classes within Canva. And you can do this one of two ways. On your account, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the settings, this little gear button up at the top. And you're going to click on billing and plans. From there at the bottom, you're gonna create a new team. And this would be for each class that you have. Um, so whether you are blocks, A day, B day, however you want to name them, but the group of kids that you want to have assigned the same um, assignment and turn them in together. So you would put your name there. Once that information is verified, I believe you do have to verify it as well, you will see it on your home page. You'll see your personal account and then you will see the two or two or three, however many classes you have that you have created. Another option is that you can create groups. This is more of something that everyone is going to share the materials together and work together on something. You could use this with kids as well, but I personally would see this more as teacher collaboration of sharing presentations and et cetera. Our next task is to create an assignment and share that with the students. So if this were one of my assignments and I wanted it to be a template for them to complete, I would go over to share at the very top and I would click on assignment. From there, you can either have them submit work through Canva or Google Classroom. Uh, I personally like to just use it straight through Canva, but you can add it into Google Classroom. From there, they're going to get a whole template blank, their own copy, just like this, that they can fill in the information. I would put my uh, assignment instructions here, and then I can select if I have specific students or groups that I want, but it's automatically going to go to my class that I have already put in there um, or my teams. And so right now I have not shared it with them, but they could view it and they could view other people's work or not share it at all. And then I will publish it. And so from there, I can look at some of my assignments that I would have by going over here to classwork. Um, once I look at classwork, I can see a spreadsheet that shows everything and um, that students have submitted. This is what that screen would look like if I had students in that class and they had already submitted work. So you can see over here where it shows what they've submitted with the screenshot. It has the names of the students and their status. So whether it's approved, it needs changes, I've asked for revisions and what time that they have done all of that. Now to create a template from scratch is very easy. Canva has all of these icons up here for you that can give you all kinds of ideas. But if we wanted to do some type of infographic, I can actually just type in here. And it will give me all kinds of templates that I can use. So I can look at themes if I want to, or I can create my own and it already gives me a good size about it. So I click on this one about oceans, it'll say customize this template. I can favorite it. Um, I can share it with other people. 
Once I'm in here, if I wanted to assign this template to my students, I can leave parts of this blank. I can take out these pictures. Um, these should be just frames. Um, and I can insert whatever picture I want here, or I can leave these blank. And then I would do the same thing, go into share, go to assignment, and it would assign this blank template for them. Everything's already um, sized for them. Uh, the format, all of that is done. So it's a very fill in the blank activity for them. If I want to look at something like storyboards, again, I can just search for it. I can find a lot of templates that already have storyboards laid out for me. I can do the same thing with posters if I wanted something. Uh, if I want them to create an Instagram story or an Instagram post, it will already have the size uh, and the formatting already there. It also will give either you or it can give students the option of backgrounds and templates. If we look down here, different types of backgrounds and font combinations so they can change that later if they choose so. If for some reason you're on here and you realize you actually want this to be an eight by 10 or a 16 by 24 poster, you're gonna go up to the top where it says resize. It's gonna put this in pixels but you can change it and I highly recommend doing that. And then you can change this to an eight by 10. You can also go to already resize common sizes for various projects and just click there. If you're doing it this way, there's a couple things that you can do. You can either copy and resize. It's gonna make a copy of this um, project and resize it so you have two versions of it or you can just resize it it's going to mess up the formatting a little bit but you won't have two copies so if i go and i hit redesign it now makes it like this i can change it however i want to if it needs to be resized um, or if the font needs to change a uh, size or color and pictures etc if i wanted to take this presentation and I want to present it and record it for my students. Then I will go to present. I can also hit the share button. It'll take me there as well. And I would want to do a present and record. Present and record is going to give me a little talking head here. And it's going to, I can move this around, but this will help them see me like you would do for any other voice or video recording program. Now, when it's time for students to submit their assignment, they are going to go over here and to share. Theirs will look a little bit different than mine, um, but they will want to hit this collaboration link. And it should, it could have the class here so everyone can use it, but there should be one that says anyone with a link or it will say submit assignment to the teacher. They can copy this link, but please make sure if they're doing this, it should just have that they can view it. Anyone with this link can view. They do not need to leave it on the only you can access. If they do that, then you as a teacher will not be able to see the assignment either. They can also download it into a Microsoft version of it, whether that's a PowerPoint or a doc. Um, you can also give them a view only link and they can send that to you as well. On their screen though, it will say submit assignment if it is assigned into that classroom um, or that team that you've created on Canva. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more video tutorials.